Hey guys, so today I'm doing a quick little uh, video. It might not be quick, but um, it's a video on my um, rare record collection. I've done this before, but um, hey, I'm doing some of the videos that I did before, but a little better than I did before. Because, come on, you see, if you've seen some of my older videos, <laughs> uh, go check them out there. If you if you want to laugh, they're 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 good, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I guess let's get on to it because, um, yeah, I got quite a few records here, so. Uh, some of these you may have seen before, some of these might be new, so. Um, first thing I have here is a Zeppelin original. Uh, well, it's not, uh, like, it is an original, like, from the time. It's from, uh, 1969, but it's, um, a later pressing. It's not, like, the first pressing or anything. Let's look at more. Uh, Zeppelin 2. It's quite quiet. And Zeppelin 3 is right here. Oh, I love the cover to Zeppelin 3. Uh, and it... Um, does a little spinny thing here, like when you take out of the package, it spins like that, so that's awesome. Now there's the back cover, such an awesome back cover there. Uh, these aren't, I, yeah, they are, they are in order, but I just kind of effed them up when I put them in the case. Uh, I got the door Strange Days. Next, I got, uh, the doors Waiting for the Sun. The Doors Soft Parade. There's a lot of doors here. And finally, the last album, The Doors, L.A. Woman. Uh, there is the um, songs there. Uh, and all these I'm showing you, they're all originals. They're not uh, reprints, so yeah, that's why I called them my rare record collection. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've shown these before, my original uh, British uh, mono Beatles. Uh, Hard Day's Night. You've seen this before. Uh, Beatles for sale. Gotta get a plastic for this one. Uh, same with Sergeant Pepper. Gotta get plastic for that too. You know, after it opens. First record, uh, and this, yeah, this is true. This is the first album to have lyrics on the back of the cover. A little bit of trivia for you. Uh, next we got the Beatles oldies. This is just a um, greatest hits that came out of the time on 66. Yeah. Next we're getting a bit of who here. Um, I had the second one but I uh, traded it off because I wanted to get something else more. Um, but yeah, I'll... I'll the Who aren't in that uh, big a demand right now, so um, yeah. If I, I if I ever see the second one, I'll pick it up again. But I'm not in that big of a rush. I'm not uh, that much into the Who anymore. Like I still like their music, but I, I'm not a major fan anymore like I was before. Like oh. All these aren't rare. Like this isn't. Uh, this is just the the um, 
kids are right the little uh the music from the uh, uh the soundtrack of the movie uh it's i don't count it as rare but this is like my favorites to rare ones like there is my i have my rare ones in here and then i have my just kind of like cool ones this one's quite rare the um beatles uh let it be in the box and it has the book nothing on the back Next up, I got this one's quite rare, uh, except for the little uh, little rips there kind of affect it. But um, the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band um, picture disc. So on the record, um, you get a photo, which is awesome, like on the record, and then the back. That's really cool. Um, yeah, nothing really on the back. It's special. Uh, I got a Who one. The Who, um, picture disc. I had another one, uh, it was the Who, Who Are You picture disc. Uh, but yeah, I traded it off. Uh, Elvis's uh, first album. Uh, oh, and, uh, if Elvis was still alive, he'd be 80 years old, so, happy birthday, Elvis. <laughs> and, uh, yep, this is an original, if you look at the label, um, and, yeah, um, yeah, it's an original. Songs, pictures, and stories of the Beatles. Um, it's a VJ album, like before um, they went onto the famous label, uh, the Capitol label, um, and Parlophone in Britain. Uh, they had this little label, VJ, uh, that produced the introducing uh, the Beatles record. And, uh, yeah, this is. Um, uh, one of the records they made like it's this is what they did um they because uh capital said like they're like oh um you only got a few more months before we buy the rights to the beatles or whatever uh and yeah um they were just like oh crap we better make as many records as we can so we can get all the monies and yeah, uh, so it's actually like the record is the exact same as um, introducing the Beatles, but uh, yeah, just with a different cover in that, and it's a pretty cool cover. Same with the back cover. Pretty cool. This one I made. <laughs> it's funny. I made this um, a few years ago. <laughs> uh, I couldn't find the cover to the uh, Beatles rock and roll music album. So, it's just a great shit album, and yeah, I put it together. <laughs> uh, those were the days. <laughs> uh, I was such a great drawer then, drawer then. Yeah. Uh, this is quite neat. Uh, any, like, the Wizard of Oz, uh, movie, here's a record from the 50s. Uh, Obviously, uh, the movie came out in 1939, this is way after the movie, but, uh, yeah, it's quite a neat cover, so. And then, the final thing I have is the Children's Treasury of Batman music stories, uh, it's from 66, and, yeah, everyone loves Batman from the 60s. Um, that basically concludes my video, but I got a few more rare ones, um, I got a few more rare ones here. Uh, I got like this Elvis Christmas album in that. Uh, a few more Beatles here. This uh, particular Beatle album, it is, um, it's just the greatest hits from uh, Germany. And um, the song All My Loving on here, this is the only time you can actually get like, uh, if you hear the song, it just starts like off like, close your eyes, and you know the song. And, um, if you don't know the song, go, go listen to it. And, uh, yeah, so this is the only place where you can get, like, uh, just wait a second, guys, I'll just pause the video for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna play you the quick little rare count in. Look at this. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow. 
So it's not the greatest of shape, but yeah, um, that's amazing. I love that counting. And, uh, yeah, I got a few more of my, uh, records that I would consider of the hippie era. Uh, where all the hippies were like, this is great, man. And, um, yeah. Do -do -do. Of course, my rarest album. You've seen this beauty before. Beatles Butcher cover, and, uh, I think I showed you this, but yeah, I, fr uh, framed it, so, looks pretty awesome, and, you know, look at that beautiness, uh, but yeah, I got a few other, like, little rarities, um, but I can't really fit in the box, like, um, this Rolling Stones, uh, Greatest Hits from the 60s, uh, it's, like, cut off, uh, here, uh, they did that in... Like, when this first came out, then they reprinted it and just hit it like a normal album like this, where it's just like... Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Who Live at Leeds with all the in inserts. Um, I don't really... Like, some of the other stuff there is not really that rare. Um, uh, and a few decent shape. Uh, help and Twist and Shout. Uh, not really anything else here, uh, really that rare. Beatles Story original, uh, it's not really that, that easy to find. Jimi Hendrix Smash Hits, um, original. Uh, but, yeah, um, not really else much to say, uh, except I'm gonna play you guys a little song. Bye. Bye.